Hello everybody, it's Nerdiversal back here with another video. How are you guys doing on this lovely Friday, Thursday evening? I'm actually recording this on Thursday, so it's probably going to be uploaded on Friday knowing my incredibly slow internet speed. So for today's video, um, it's been a while since I've done a speed paint. I know I've strayed a lot from my formula recently. It's been art, but it has been more collaborations and such. Um, I animate for some things, but it's not necessarily a speed paint, and that's kind of where my channel started. So we're back with another speed paint. The one that you're seeing right now, actually the super ugly snail bitch, um, this is Alice from Alice Madness Returns, and I actually did this drawing a year ago, and I hated it so much that I never finished it, until eventually, about a month ago, I saw it and was like, wow, I can do so much better than that. So I did, so that's sort of what the end of this video is, and I still don't like really the outcome, but at least it came out better than what this is. My damn dog's whimpering. Anyways, um, for today's topic, because it's, it's also been a while since I've actually talked about a topic, it's mostly just been rambling, but for today's topic, I, do I thought, bleh, speaking who, I don't know her, I thought I would talk about comparing yourself in art, because I know a lot of artists do it, and maybe most of us don't mean to because we know for a fact that you should not compare yourself in art, we're all at different calibers, but to some extent, we all do it, and it's hurting us more than it's helping us to ew why did i do that why did i extend her head anyways it's hurting us more than it's helping us because here's the thing when you compare yourself to art it doesn't necessarily make you want to be better depending on the person obviously no i know some people comparing yourself to other people's art it's like oh i want to be like them so i'm gonna work harder to be like them which i understand i can totally get if you are that kind of person I personally am not, and I feel like some people are with me on this, and so if you're with me on this, then this video is for you. So it's along the lines of where you see somebody else's art, and you feel inferior to them, you feel like you'll never be that, and then you don't want to really draw anymore because you're not at that level, how can you ever be at that level? But here's the thing, the only way to get to that level is to draw, and and you practice you know and that's always what they'll tell you they'll always tell you well if you want to be that good then you have to practice and we all know that but it makes practicing a lot harder when you feel that you will never be somewhere and i don't know i i feel like a lot of artists self-degrade and it's sort of a joke to self-degrade like oh i'm an artist i hate my art and to some extent i feel like people feel that it's true like you you look at your art and you're like I don't I don't like this I hate it but I feel like having more of a positive attitude toward your art and being like well I don't like this certain part about it but at least I did this well it makes you want to improve more and I, I could be wrong you know you guys are all very different from me I have my own way of working and getting myself ooh, to do things sorry I almost hiccuped ew why did I do that too Oh, honey, this year ago drawing, I know why I left it. It was a crap show. Anyways, I think that having a positive attitude about your art will make you want to do art more. Because obviously, if you don't, if you have a negative attitude about your art, you're not going to want to do your art because you're, you're just, you just don't want to. You have a bad feeling about doing your art. And so you just, you don't, you don't improve. You don't practice like you want to. But if you have a positive view of your art, then you know, they'll be like, fuck, maybe I should draw. I want to draw. I want to do something that looks nice and be is pretty. And when you compare a, your art to a lot of people, it, it can, it brings you down, man. It really sucks. Unless you have nerves of steel, it'll bring you down. I took an art class in senior year. It was an AP art class. And there were a lot of good artists in there. And I was in no way at the caliber that they were especially with the mediums that of course they were familiar with they knew what they're doing with and i'm a digital artist so i didn't do a whole lot of digital art but they seemed to know what they were doing but it's because they practice it's because they put a lot of effort into it and i i put a lot of effort into art at that point but i wasn't putting a whole lot because i felt i felt like i couldn't get to the point that i wanted to be at 
And so I would look at these other people's art and I'd feel like, okay, well, what's the point of me making art if I'm not going to be that? And maybe this is starting to sound a little bit redundant, but it's true, guys. It's true. And everybody's different, so I'm not trying to say that you should think good about your art or else your art will be bad. Everybody has their different way of working, but if this were to happen to help somebody, then, you know, hope, hopefully it would, hopefully it helps you out. Um, this part is finally the part where I actually, like, redo it and, like, make it try to look good. Um, so I did recoloring. You saw me, like, redraw the eyes and stuff, resketch everything, because I, I, the first drawing was not viable at all. It was awful. And that's another thing. The only art that you should be comparing yourself to is your art that you did a long time ago. I have some examples of art that I did a long time ago, and they are so awful. That's why I draw redraws sometimes, because it feels good knowing that I can do better and seeing myself do better in practice, comparing my seven years ago art to my now art and seeing just how far I've come. So if you're going to compare your art to anybody's art, it should be old self art, especially old self that drew anime potatoes and people with large eyes and sharp chins, didn't know how to color, what are colors? I When I was younger, I didn't really color a lot. I did a lot of, um, I did a lot of sketching, and so that's why learning to color for me was a lot of a process, and that's why when I would see other people's art, they'd be so well-versed with colors, everything looked so beautiful put together, and I am in no way good at art at that level, but I, I've gotten better, I've gotten better at learning to use my colors, and I'm not perfect with it, but it's a learning process, and I like, I like the new things that I do where I learn how to use them. I take the little battles as they come, and sometimes I'll self-degrade myself on accident. It'll be like, damn, Lonnie, your art fucking sucks. But then you gotta just sit there and be like, hey, but at least you're way better than you used to be a few years ago. So, you know, it just, it just, it's different for everybody. So if you feel the way that I feel about comparing yourself to other people's art, then maybe this will resonate with you. If not, then they're perhaps are probably other solutions there most definitely is other solutions because i'm not you know everybody oh i actually did the eyeshadow okay i sorry i thought i'd point that out i've never been able to do her eyeshadow but then i realized it was actually eyeshadow but anyways the video is coming to an end guys and i hope you guys enjoyed the speed paint i hope you guys enjoyed my sort of amateur art rambling um thank you guys for watching and if you guys would like to see me draw something else put it down in the comment section below thank you guys love you guys bye ah. Thank you.